Hi, I'm Bob from Package Research Laboratory. I want to talk to you today a little bit about heat chambers. We're going to talk about the placement of the probes, a little bit of theory on how thermocouple wires actually work and probes, and how to drill and make sure your probes are tight and sealed properly. All right, this is an actual thermocouple wire. It's nothing more than a red strand and a white strand that are actually covered up by plastic. And what happens is you peel this plastic off and then you twist it together. And at that point where the metal is touching is where it's going to read the actual measurements and send it down the wire to the recording device. The key is, is the fact that this thing's going to measure wherever the metal is touching. So if you leave a long strand where the metal is exposed, it's going to go ahead and actually read closer to the recording device. So make sure that your metal tip here is no more than a quarter inch. At the same token now, this is actually what a probe would look like on this end. And it's nothing more than an actual metal or plastic that's actually covering the actual wires itself. So this is actually how a probe and a wire actually works. Now we're going to talk about the placement of the probes, the drilling of the hole, and the proper sealing of the hole. The probes must be placed in the end of the runners. The thickness of the probe is determined by the thickness of the wood. If the actual runner is an inch and a half thick, the minimum depth you have to go in is an inch and a half. I'm using a quarter inch thick probe right now. It's going to require a quarter inch thick drill bit. Drilling exactly in the center of the runner as far as the drill bit will go. When placing your probe in, it's going to feel very snug. It's going to take some pressure to push it in. Make sure you don't push it in all the way. Give yourself about a quarter inch of the probe out so that you can actually grab it with some pliers to pull it back out if need be so it's not pulling on the wires. Now to seal it, I'm using some plumber's putty. Be very liberal on the amount you use. And there it is, a properly placed probe, sealed properly.